Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will demonstrate how we can create a Word document with a repeating section or table from a Word template stored in SharePoint library. In this example, I will also show how we can use PowerX formula in desktop flow to convert data table to a list of custom objects. So let's start. We have a document library in test SharePoint site where we have stored a word template. This template contains a table with four columns, ID, account name, primary contact and the contact email. It has a repeating section name table row to add data rows in the table. Let me also show you input data by opening the legacy application. The desktop flow will extract account data grid from this window app and create a word file using template stored in SharePoint. Lastly, we will share the word file with the user in an email. Let's create a new desktop flow. Enter the appropriate flow name and remember to enable PowerFX toggle. This is important as this option allow us to write PowerFX function in desktop flow. You can see on the top PowerFX is enabled for this flow. Add run application action as the first action to run the Contoso invoicing app. Enter the application full path in application path variable. Set the window style property as maximized. Select wait for application to load, load option in after application launch property and enter 10 in the timeout parameter. Now run the flow to launch invoice app. We need to select UI element in the next action. Next add extract data from table action to extract data from the data grid. Select add UI element, select data grid element from the UI and press Ctrl plus left mouse key to capture it. Change the storage property to variable. This the data will be stored in a data table variable. Now we have extract the data so we can close the invoicing app using terminate process action. In this action, pass the app process ID from the output of run application action and save it. Let's run the flow to verify if data is extracted from the data grid. Here you are, the, the data is being extracted to a data table variable. After completing data extraction, next step is to transform data table to a list of custom object. For that, add set variable action. Name it as table rows. Type for all power fx function. The first parameter will be the data table variable. In second parameter, we will create a custom object. The property name of this object will be same as mentioned in the word template. The value of each property is set using this record dot column name from data table variable. And close column name in single quotes if there is a white or blank space in its name.
you can see uh, the column account name as a space. So we have enclosed this in a single quote. Adding power FX function will avoid using loop to convert each row of data table as custom object and store in a list. Click save to save this action. Let's run the flow to check the power FX output. You can see the table row variable contains a list of custom object that is required for the next action. The final step is to create a Word document from template. For that, add populate a Microsoft Word template cloud action. It will prompt first prompt for the connection reference. You can create a new connection rec reference or you can also reuse the existing one. Select the SharePoint site from the location drop down. Similarly, choose document library and template file. For setting the table rows repeating section, pass the value of table rows variable and save it. Finally, add another cloud action to send an email. We will use send an email action for that. It will also prompt for a connection reference. You can create a new connection reference or reuse the existing one. Enter the value for two subject and body property as per the requirement. For attachment expand advanced property and click edit button next to the attachments property. It is a list of custom object with name and content by it as its properties. Click more. In the name property add full name of the word document along with extension. And in Content byte pass create file item response binary object. Save this action and run the flow to test it. The flow runs successfully. Let's check the email. Let's maximize the email window and check the word attachment. There you are. It has all the extracted data in a tabular format. So that's it for this session. Thank you. For more videos on feature update and use cases, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.